YouTube, what's up, you beautiful motherfuckers? It's Amps here, and today we got something special for you. So today we're actually doing an unboxing. Um, I decided that I was going to get a Battle Beavers custom controller. Uh, my scuff broke, so you know how that is. So for those of you that don't know, Battle Beavers Customs is like a uh, cheaper but also a more durable version of the scuff. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the logistics and shit. We're just going to get right into it. So yeah, uh, I got the priority mail shipping on this guy. So it actually was pretty fast, man. I actually got this in about four days, give or take. Like I ordered it on Sunday. I got it on Thursday today. And yeah, I mean, the priority shipping was actually pretty quick on this. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and crack this guy open. We got a busted ass screwdriver because I'm broke as a bitch and don't have a knife laying around. A litter opener would be nice. Okay, cool. So this is basically a card that tells you exactly what you had done to your controller. Um, I didn't have anything done with the pat with the uh, triggers or anything. I just had the buttons put on the back. I skipped the squid grip. I was told that that's not the move to be making. And as you can see, I got the camo shell and all that jazz. So it comes in that like regular PlayStation looking box. That's kind of interesting to see. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a regular looking controller but it's got these buttons here on the back it's an interesting alternative to the scuff because the scuff, as you know the scuff has the paddles so this guy actually has these instead I got the X1 thumbsticks on it so they're the concave those actually feel really good so if you want to go ahead and get those I'd recommend them highly but yeah it's got it's got the buttons on the back it's a nice alternative to the scuff it's actually about where you're fingers rest normally if you hold the controller weird and that's not where they actually sit don't even worry about it because you can choose i mean you can literally put the buttons anywhere on here you want you can put them shits like all the way down here if you wanted to it doesn't even matter but yeah um it, it looks really nice it, it actually feels well too it's it's really cool um what i'm probably going to end up doing is i'm going to play with it for about a week or so and then in a week i'll come back with a uh review video on the Battle Beavers Customs controller. So if you'd like to stay tuned and I can tell you exactly how the thing plays, then that'd be cool too. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. But yeah man, seems like a pretty decent controller. Um, I tell you what, this thing is light as shit man. It's like, I had the rumbles taken out so this thing is like a feather. It's crazy. Um, but one more thing. I'm also going to be doing a review video on the Battle Beavers Custom Controller in about a week after I get a chance to play with it and all that. So stay tuned for that, and I will keep you updated on the status of that video. Um, also, hit me up on a follow on Twitter at AmpsFPS. Um, I'll leave the link in the description or something for you guys. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you today, so YouTube, I'll see you later.